Hey there viewers, let's discuss 12 things pilots are surprisingly not allowed to do in the cockpit. But before this, if you have not subscribed to our channel, do subscribe it. Did your eyes pop and your jaws broke after seeing your flight's pilot walk in front of you towards a waiting plane at the upon elegance just walk past? But do you think that a pilot's life is all about glitz and glamour? We bet ya it isn't. Pilots also have to deal with the harsh realities of their job. Inside the cockpit, airline pilots live very secret lives. In fact, little is known of what they do or can do behind these potentially bulletproof doors. Number 1. They say goodbye to coffee in the cockpit already. According to one user, most pilots he know drink coffee either during or after a flight. But that can't kind of freedom just ended too soon for some unlucky pilots. Following two recent coffee spilling incidents inside cockpits, drinking coffee in the said airplane's flight deck is now strictly prohibited. Number 2 And yes, alcoholic beverages too. Moderate alcohol intake has proven beneficial health effects according to Mayo Clinic. But it is also a fact that excessive alcohol consumption significantly increases accident risk. To avoid any alcohol related aviation accident, FAA strictly prohibits alcohol consumption for flight crews, especially pilots less than 8 hours before a scheduled flight. Number 3 Reading books, including novels, is simply not allowed. A passenger reading Ledlam or B.D. James during a flight poses no threat at all. For pilots, however, reading books and long novels mid-flight is simply out. As a pilot, the last thing you need is a distraction from your piloting duties and Goodreads do this all the time. Number 4. No more work at the controls beyond 8 hours. Pilots can only work up to 8 hours. This might make you a nervous flyer, but yes, pilots are legally allowed to rest during flights. Don't worry, too, because more often that than not, airlines allow for extra flight specialists to take over whenever one of the pilots needs a camp. Number 5. The captain and first officer can eat the same meal. Having both your pilot experience food poisoning mid-flight is all scary as riding a boat. Well, you can shake that free off, fear off thanks to simple yet life-saving airline practice of not giving their pilots the same meal the slim but possible food poisoning threat has already been eliminated. Number 6. Chit chat below 1000 feet is reserved only for passengers. According to the National Transportation Safety Board, most plane crashes occur during critical flight stages below 10,000 feet. To avoid any more accidents, the FAA, as per NS NTCB recommendation, issued a Sertal Cockpit Rule, a rule prohibiting pilots from engaging in unnecessary activities that never relate to flying the airplane. Number 7. No electronic gadgets in all phases of flight. When your flight captain asks you to turn your electronic gadget off, there is a logic be reason behind it. But if you think that pilots can enjoy what you can during the flight, well, guess what? Pilots are also prohibited from using any form of electric gadget while flying the airplane. Number 8. Either pilot can leave the other side inside the cockpit without a companion. Two-man rule. When a plane crashes, a lengthy investigation is sure to follow. And although most plane crashes happen due to invisible reasons, there are those that happen because of deliberate action from pilot. Unfortunately, these pilots were left without companions inside the cockpit. Thus, a two-man rule was born. Number 9. Both pilots can't go to sleep at the same time. Modern passenger airplanes are occupied with an autopilot. This by pilot more time to slumber during flight, right? Wrong! 
The plane's pilot can get shut eye all at the same time. There should always be one fully aware and aware pilot at the controls in all phases of the flight. Number 10. The sleepy pilot cannot doze off right away without verbally confirming that the other pilot is awake. Controlled rests are normal during the flight, but the pilots who want to sleep can just doze off right away. The regulation states that before one of the pilots can get some rest, he or she has to confirm that the other pilot is awake by solicitating a verbal confirmation. Number 11. Pilots can go in and out of the flight cabin anytime they want. Following numerous and solicited cockpit instructions by passenger, all airplane, airline cockpits are now closed off to passengers during the duration of the flight. And to detect any similar future events from happening, pilots are prohibited by law from frequently moving in and out of the cockpit, any more save for bathroom breaks. <laughs> the last one, the captain and first officer can choose who they fly with. Did you know that pilots are like doctors in a sense that they are always on call? Did you also know that pilots can choose nor refuse their assigned partner during each flight? Yes, pilots have no idea whom they are flying with until they are literally seated in the cockpit. Hey, do you like this video? Then give this video a thumbs up. And if you love this video, then you are simply gonna love our top 10 amazing airports in the world. Check it out.